My name is Mitch Johansson, and this is my epic story, although a little light and feathery. I've been doing property management for about seven years. Property management maybe is like a game of Jenga, where somebody is playing against you and putting the pieces back in, but not correctly. One day you might be working on a septic issue, the next day you might be figuring out how to get a brand new backup generator installed. Typically when we get calls or issues reported to us, it's a person. Our client in this case was a mother dog. This all began while I was on vacation with my wife. We were down the Cape and really nice outside restaurant. I was actually still on call and the phone rang and of course, my wife doesn't even say anything anymore. She just rolls her eyes and she knows. You gotta take it and I answer within the first couple rings and uh, sure enough, it was Teresa from our answering service. I've gotten a lot of calls from her and I know I'm getting a thick Boston accent. How you doing, guy? I got a real special one for you. All right, Teresa, what do you got? I got ducks in a sewer. I said, what? Ducks in a sewer? Yeah, ducks in a sewer guy. Over at Magnolia. Thanks, Teresa, we'll be on our way. I'm thinking about this. The mother duck probably walked right across the grate and then one by one, the ducks probably started dropping in. And I, and I thought to myself, if I was the last duck, wouldn't you walk around or do something else? But sure enough, there was 12 ducklings, all of them, all down in the sewer. You know, my first thought was to call the local authorities. First started with the fire department. I go through the whole thing and say, this is what my problem is. And they said, honestly, this is not something that we can help you with right now. Then I called the police department. Nope, not gonna help. Then I reached out to the Department of Public Works. They didn't have anybody working that day and they really couldn't help me. So kind of that was my strike three. Then I decided, you know what, let me give our call to our maintenance guy and, and see what he has to say. And sure enough, Mike as usual, positive as ever. Yep, no problem, I'll be right on my way. We're, we're not long-winded on the phone anymore. You know, we have some of this stuff down to almost 20, 30 seconds. He's just right on point. Yep, I got you. Actually, on my way back from a fishing trip, perfect. You got that fishing net still in the truck? Yep, got it. Good to go. Let's roll. It was kind of like you'd imagine in a cartoon. Mike pulls up. Mama Duck is still quacking away, angry. At first, you know, he was a little tentative. He didn't want to startle her any more than she already was. Mike's a funny guy. I'm sure Mike was probably even talking to the duck at some point saying, all right, Mama, it's going to be okay. And then he's in the sewer cap. She's looking right over the top, making sure everything's going according to plan, and making sure he's doing the right job and taking good care of her babies. And, and sure enough, I had Mike send me a picture after all was said and done of all the ducks on their way out. There's not too often that you really get a, a really heartfelt thank you in our business. I think everybody kind of took a little sense of pride in it that, you know, we are the end all be all problem solvers. It was just nice to do something like this where it was, call it a little less serious and, you know, we were able to have a little bit of a laugh about it at the end of the day.